fifth grade, getting ready for sixth grade, lesson 12, understand integers, unlock the problem, connect. You have used a number line to show zero in whole numbers. You can extend the number line to the left of zero to show the opposite of the whole numbers. For example, the opposite of positive three is negative three. Any whole number or the opposite of a whole number is called an integer. Negative integers are written with a negative sign. Positive integers are written with or without a positive sign. So, how can you tell whether a number is an integer or not? So, what does it have to be in order to be an integer? So, it has to be a whole number or the opposite of a whole number, right? Okay. Of a whole number or the opposite of the opposite. Example one. The temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska was 37 degrees below zero. Write an integer to represent the situation. Step one, decide whether the integer is positive or negative. The word Below tells me that the integer is negative. <laughs> Write the integer. So we said it's going to be negative, and what was our number? 37. 37. So the temperature in Fairbanks was negative 37 degrees. Example two. The koala bear gained 11 yards on a football play. Write an integer to represent the situation. Then tell what zero represents in the situation. Decide what positive integers and negative integers represent. Positive inter integers represent yards, yards gained, right? And negative integers represent yards lost. Decide what zero represents. So zero, yard, zero means yards were neither gained or lost. So basically, it would be what, guys? It would be plus or negative? Plus, plus 11 yards, right? Sharing show, write an integer to represent the situation. A loss of $25. The word loss represents an integer that is negative. negative. The integer that represents the situation is, negative. so we said negative, what? $25. 25 And actually, in this case, you don't have to put the dollars with it, because they just want an integer. Number two, 73 degrees above zero. So is it going to be, so what do we need to underline here? So over here, we would have underlined loss and $25, right? Over here, we're going to do 73 and above. above. So that means what? It's positive. Positive. 73. 73. Number three, 200 feet below sea level. So what am I going to underline? 200, 200 and below. below. So what is that? Negative. Negative. 200. 200. A profit of $76. Profit. So annoying profit and so add or er, negative or positive? Positive. Positive. 76. 76. Write an integer to represent the situation, then tell what zero represents. So the passenger jet flew at an altitude of 3,000 feet. So what would that be? Positive or negative? Positive. A positive because of? Altitude, right? So we don't like altitude and 34,000 feet because altitude we know goes up, right? 
So what would zero mean in this case? So if you're going altitude, so if you're going above, what are you going above? Ground. Okay, what's ground also called? Mm, no. In techno technological terms, what what does ground what's it called? Something level. Sea level. So on these, you kind of have to think a little bit outside the box. Okay, guys? Zach lost 45 points on his first turn. So what do we need to underline? Lost, lost in 45. So is it negative or positive? Negative. Negative. 45. Okay, and then what does zero represent in this case? Kind of like a basketball game. You can, it means either gaining or losing points. Okay, Craig was 20 minutes early for his appointment, so what would we do? early in 20 minutes, right? So is it positive or negative? Positive. Okay, well, yes, it's a good thing that you're early for an appointment and not late, but say if his appointment was at 8 o'clock and he got there at 7.40, it'd be negative because it's beforehand, right? Okay, so negative 20, and then what does zero represent in this case? Time. Right, or the time for his appointment. So, like I said, this the situation and the integer, those are pretty easy. Okay? The part that's gonna kinda trick you guys or have to make you stop and think a little bit more is what does zero represent. Okay? So you guys you can have to Take time and try and figure that out. So you guys are going to do on your own with your partners, and then we will go over them here in a second. Problem problem solving. Gina withdrew six hundred dollars from her checking account to pay for her new guitar. What integer can you write to represent the withdrawal? What does zero represent? So where are we going to underline? Withdrew six hundred. Withdrew six hundred dollars. So is that going to be negative or positive? Positive. If you're taking it away, oh, negative. negative. So negative 600. Then they want to know, um, so then write the, to represent the withdrawal or the integer. And then what does zero represent? So in this case, what does zero? How much money, How much money she has in her her checking account without doing what? Without withdrawing or depositing, right? So the amount of money she has Drawing. Or 